Oops, brightness, not volume. Turn down the volume of the microphone. I need to keep that space heater on. It's cold in the studio tonight. It's March 6th, early in the morning. Welcome to Bingo Rage Studio. Tonight I'm working on a couple pieces. New canvas. Our working title is um, Grief and Beyond. Myself and a couple of friends have lost close uh, uh, female family members in the last uh, few years. My buddy just lost his mom. My buddy Z lost his grandmother recently and my mother passed away uh, a few years ago. I feel similarly struck, I guess is a good phrase, which everyone has to face eventually. Life continues. This piece was kind of a meditation on the uh, that moment, I guess, the separation between yourself and a loved one. Just gotta get another uh, kind of drawing up. But uh, crazy idea. It's so crazy it would work. Yeah. So crazy that I'm about to put you on. Most of the cat pisses. That's what I use. That's so funny. You said that. I use that. You ever cat that pisses in your house? Yeah, we talked about a couple weeks ago. Piss all over my fucking bed. Oh, that's right. And my fucking couch. Women get angry when you don't want to fuck them anymore. It's a weird thing, especially if they've they've put like a big part of who they are in that. Yeah. Yeah. Invested in that. A big part of their me. I just remember sliding down and the legs in between the heads. I feel like there was a fake one. Uh huh. They just ended their war. Do you want to think it's the end of the world? Drink their blood, do all because it made them like they believe that it made them invulnerable in battle. Charles Taylor, he was, he was a crazy dictator, but nobody knows him just because his name is too normal. God. This is three weeks. This is, I mean, this is thirteen weeks. This is a, that's a baby now. It's a fucking baby. No, people are out there, and they're the same people that support the war. I feel like that's one of those myths. I, mean, I feel like you should be able to like drive through an intersection and honk at your friends. Main figure has got antlers coming off of its head. These antlers uh, are kind of reflective of rock art tradition in Europe as well as North America to indicate a person who is full of knowledge, who has gained wisdom. The uh, ancient paint, which had pigment that was organically bound, that may be one of uh, humanity's uh, most ancient technologies, uh, perhaps is paint. As soon as you took some wet dirt and you smeared it on a rock, then you had paint, essentially. Life's for the living! Everyone take a break! Smith's Transformers, remember that? When it was just, uh... Yeah, it is. <laughs> Should we just move on, James? The sketch animation you put together for us, and I thought I'd bring it in for us all to enjoy. <laughs> it sure is, man. The Dark Knight. The cave. Oh, oh. Here we go. It's Holden's Batman theme nursery. He's got a Batman mobile, and he's got a bat crib, and he's got the comic books hanging on the wall. Oh, that is so cute. If, uh, if someone comes along and shoots the both of you, that kid's going to be right on his way to becoming Batman. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know what? Uh I'll chop this up a bit and upload it soon. All right. Okay, uh, Bunga Ragers, this is the new canvas. Grief and Beyond is the working title. I started out with a really strong uh, pencil sketch. And he's never going to be at a long for, for income <coughs> if he decides to tour, you know? Uh, he's he's or in mid oh, yeah? Yeah, he's pretty interesting to talk about. Paul Rodriguez there in the early days, right? Yeah, the Wasn't early. he there in the Chico and the Man days? Yeah, Which one? The comedy the story? story. They, in the really? last year, they've just pretty much overhauled the whole entire thing. So now it's like a regular It's got club. food. Yeah, it's got food. The people are getting what? paid. What? People are getting spots. The only thing that you, you don't see is you don't see a lot of new comics going through there a lot. It's still kind of like the same, like... No, like a Saturday Night Live season. What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> Six years ago, you were sucking 20 dicks behind the store, and now you're a mom in Florida. Yeah, a mom that's in what Florida. I did. Like, how about when they tried to sell that dude who was playing the flute? The pan flute. Master of the pan <laughs> flute. Yeah. They they that, what was his name? Sam Fear. He's called it Esperanto. Because eventually, if everybody drinks the same infected, contaminated designer drug spiked water 
will all be speaking the same language. You're going to be pleasantly surprised when you show up to when you get the show up tomorrow and just let yourself in. They will be made different simply by the fact that Shane exists now and is going to be living through those events. I think is really exciting for comic fans.